I'm gonna sit back here now. I'm gonna hit a G chord again. I'm gonna hit a G chord again as my Bob Seger cover band. I'm proud of that one. I came up with that one on the spot. Um, where I came up with that one on the spot is my Moxie Frucus cover band. Um, the story, I, we haven't done this in a while. Uh, 20 years at least. Oh no, not that long a while. But we, uh, in, our, in our early days, as the Paul and Storm duo that you see before you, as opposed to some other duo, I guess. Some non-tuxedo clad duo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you for shouting out the obscure reference to one gig we played as a two-man cover band named Milk Money. <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's continue with the obscure references that four people get, because everybody loves that. Cosby Sweater cover band. <laughs> Tell me more about this, uh, this you know, cover I, band. Yeah, I, w I, was, I was kidding about the obscure references. Um, in the early days of the Paul and Storm organization, we were struggling to figure out how we were going to make any money whatsoever. We were uh, doing what any hardworking duo does, which is surf the internet <laughs> instead of working, and came across... Only musicians do this, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> came across, the, uh, of all places, the Fresh Step Kitty Litter website which was, just so happened to be running a jingle writing contest. First prize, five grand. <laughs> Not as much money as it was eight years ago, apparently, but... Back in, in 2005, when we did this, that was like three million dollars. <laughs> um, and so there were, as I recall, there were three rules to the contest. Yeah, you just had to mention the product, it had to be less than 15 seconds long, and it had to demonstrate the fun and magic of cats. <laughs> that was an actual rule written in an actual contest. <laughs> That's a lot of information to convey in 15 seconds, isn't it? But we figured, like, you know, we, we had been working and writing songs together for uh, almost a dozen years at that point. We figured this was cake. Like, we would just bang this shit out in, like, ten minutes and be five grand richer. Like that. Five hours later, we had nothing. <laughs> Six hours later, we had this. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, -ish. Cats are fun and magical when you can't smell their poop fresh. Amazingly enough, we did not win, but that did not discourage us from writing several more commercial jingles, even though none of them were solicited nor responded to by the companies we sent them to, other than with an occasional restraining order or cease and desist letter. Let's see if we can put ourselves in jail. When you're done with your Domino's pizza, eat the box because it tastes the same. This one's gonna be shaky. This is my biography of Muhammad Ali. Oh. I went there. What you gonna do about it, huh? It's not like you said Michael J. Fox. <laughs> he didn't. I <laughs> cannot argue with your logic. I am just suddenly struck with the extreme absurdity of the picture right now, the two of us in tuxedos singing the song we are about to sing. <laughs> Life is beautiful. Thank you. 
Attorneys at the Olive Garden organization. <laughs> Three Cog Attorneys is my Kraftwerk cover band. They can't all be winners. <laughs> Which is our Paul and Stone <laughs> cover band. All right. Thank you for the applause on that one. All right, one more commercial. If you want to turn your daddy parts orange, eat some Cheetos and watch some porn, 